Hey guys and welcome to Being Beach Girl. Today we are going to be going over 50 small businesses to be supporting this Christmas instead of shopping from Amazon. So I feel like a lot of us want to support small businesses but it can be really hard discovering them. This is why I put together this video so that I'm able to share some small businesses that I love with you. Some of these businesses I have tried before and bought from before, others I've heard recommended by friends online and offline and some things I've just been a long term admirer of. I have categories ranging from like beauty to food to fashion to lifestyle. I've grouped them all together and I'm I'm leaving timestamps down below so you guys can skip to the sections you want to watch and find the perfect gifts for your loved ones this Christmas. I'll be sure to leave links to all the businesses down below as well as any discount codes if I have them. Please do hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. It really helps not only me but it helps this video get discovered by more people and the more people we get watching this video the less money Amazon gets and that is what matters. Yeah without further ado let's start with beauty. Number one is Kataka of London. They do vegan cruelty free and palm oil free lip glosses. So right now I'm actually wearing their Tiger's Eye lip gloss. They have five different shades and when you buy from them you're supporting a small black owned, female owned, vegan, London based business and I really can't recommend these glosses enough. Number two is Scented. They do sustainable hair care. If you are into sustainable beauty but you're not really there with package free hair care, I really do recommend Scented because all the plastic they use is not only recyclable but also recycled plastic so there's no virgin plastic going on there. They are fully vegan and they're cruelty free too. Whilst they do do shampoo and conditioner if you're looking for more of a like indulgent item, they also have a scalp treatment which is perfect for anyone that suffers with a dry sensitive scalp or dandruff. And they also have a detangler which is great for anyone who has knotty hair. Number three, we have Ohana CBD Skincare. So they're another London based black owned business who focus on skincare which has been infused with CBD. The CBD skincare balm is so good for soothing joints after running. When I massage it into my muscles after a long run, I wake up next morning with no pain and I get really mad at myself. I miss that step. So I really do recommend that balm, particularly if you're buying for someone who has taken up running or other sports and is often complaining about aching muscles. Number four is the Wild Curl. This is great hair care for anyone who has curly, coily, wavy hair. I know a lot of us have really been embracing our natural hair textures this year, mostly due to the fact that we have been stuck indoors and these oils are really good at bringing out your hair's natural texture. I have the wavy oil and I really love that. My hair really loves that. They also do a scalp treatment and a treatment for stimulating hair growth too, so definitely go check them out. They're also a black owned and cruelty free business. Number five, we have Moa, the Magic Organic Apothecary. I haven't used their products myself, but I've seen my friend Demi Colleen over on Instagram talk about them. Their packaging just looks absolutely gorgeous. And when I was going through the site, I noticed a couple of skincare items which I thought would be amazing to find under the tree at Christmas. I'm really enamored with their Aphrodite oil and their Silver Rain toners. Really recommend checking them out if you're looking to give some really nice skincare this Christmas. Number six, we have Dearest Fanny. If you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that I love their Ditsy Cloths. These are cloths which will remove your makeup with just water. It is incredible how they work. I really recommend them as a gift. They are quite expensive. They are a reusable item and they replace makeup removing wipes in an everyday beauty routine. So I definitely think it's the sort of product that most people would struggle to invest in on themselves. But at Christmas, it's a great time to be gifted some really great reusable products which do save you money in the long run just require a little bit more in the initial purchase. Beyond their face cloths they also have reusable straws which come in a drawstring pouch. Personally I love reusable straws which have a bend to them because I don't like drinking upright I like to have a bend to my straw. It's something to look out if you're treating anyone to reusable straws. Next still on the tangent of beauty I want to move on to sort of like online stores which really specialize in ethical beauty. I think these stores are really great because you can buy a lot of products in bulk and they have strict requirements on the brands that they will have in their store so you know that will be ethical brands and small businesses which are also wonderful to support. Number seven in our countdown is Freedom Street. So you may have seen me unbox their advent calendar. They have so much great vegan beauty with a wide range of price points as well. There are some really good budget buys there and also a lot of luxurious buys. They have a section dedicated to stocking fillers so it's really great that you can kind of like bulk buy quite a few of those. I think it's really cute that they do £25 donate a gift presents which is literally you donating a gift which they are are going to hand out to homeless people in their local area. It's just a little good deed that you can do this Christmas. One of the things I love about Freedom Street is that they have very strict criteria on the beauty brands that they will stock. These brands are all going to be vegan, they're all going to be cruelty free and when they say cruelty free they do 
really mean to like the parent company level. You won't find many brands there that are owned by like L'Oreal, Unilever, anything like that. So if you are very fussy when it comes to the parent company, it's great to shop from a store like Freedom Street because they've already done all that research and hard work for you. And another company that has the same sort of ethics around it is Greener Beauty. And they also have an amazing gift section. You can find stuff for him, for her, plastic free as well. They just have a huge selection. For number nine, we have Plastic Freedom. So this is a great place to shop if you are one of those people that are plastic free, that are looking to really reduce plastic consumption this Christmas. Plastic Freedom aren't only a great place to shop for gifts, they are also a great place to shop for like Christmas accessories. So stuff like wrapping paper and cards. You can find all that sort of stuff there, plastic free. One word of caution though, is just not everything there is suitable for vegans. Just keep an eye out for that. Number 10 is Content Beauty. This is a sustainable, conscious, like beauty, well-being, lifestyle store that you can find in London, but they still have an incredible online store and they make it so easy to shop by ethics. Not all of their stuff is vegan, but a lot of it is. And I'd say this is a place to go for more luxurious, higher-end products. Their Christmas selection includes stocking fillers, natural beauty gifts, brands that give back, fashion activism, sustainable living, and books as well. So you can have a really good time searching through their website. Also under the beauty umbrella, I also want to recommend supporting local salons so I have asked for gift vouchers for some of my local salons I do live in London and I will mention a couple of salons that I love but obviously you can cater this one to your local area I have asked for vouchers to Shoreditch Nail Co I pretty much live in Shoreditch and it's really nice to be able to support local business particularly one that has so many vegan options as well and small business number 12 is the rabbit hole salon this is my favorite vegan salon in London I got my hair cut there just before I moved back into London at the end of the last lockdown even if the voucher is like 30 pounds that's 30 pounds off your next haircut and it really does help you out and then another branch of beauty is perfumes number one I am suggesting Eden perfume it's a Brighton based vegan perfume brand that have been around for as long as I can remember they have really strong vegan ethics they pretty much do dupes to every major fragrance you'll ever find they do Chanel number no. five Marc Jacobs Daisy they even got like Britney Spears fantasy I found the other day which I thought was really interesting that really took me back a while number 14 we have Floral Street they are a small perfumery they have a shop in Covent Garden and they basically base all their perfumes around flowers but that doesn't mean they're all very like feminine and girly they really do have a wide range of scents available they also do incredible discovery sets so that whoever you're buying for can have a sniff of the different fragrances before committing to buying one of their perfumes they are more expensive so it is important to make sure you're getting the right scent before you commit to that sort of price point point. and then number 15 we have elementary scents this is another one i saw my friend demi post about and they just look absolutely gorgeous they have three unisex scents the bottles are absolutely stunning basically they do small batch high concentration botanical unisex fragrances you can buy the individual perfumes or also discovery sets okay and now we are on to food small business number 16 is the adoptive vegan these guys do vegan macaroons which look incredible i've actually never had a vegan macaroon so when i saw just petition share these i they look so good. They have 12 flavors available, including like lemon, cookie dough, pistachio, pumpkin spice, s'mores. The flavors look incredible. I really want to try some. Number 17 is Mummy Meeks. So you may have spotted these guys in Holland and Barrett, but they are really great for anyone who loves indulgent vegan chocolates, particularly those which incorporate marshmallow into it. So they do Rocky Road bars, which are amazing. They also, for Christmas, have started doing some like hot chocolate things. So you can get actually a hot chocolate bauble, which you drop into hot water, hot milk, Milk, then stir and it will become a hot chocolate again it had marshmallows um, inside the bauble I just feel like we often have to miss out on marshmallows as vegans when it comes to hot chocolate so I love that they have this touch they also do stirrers which is literally a wooden spoon with a block of chocolate at the end and marshmallows too and you just stir around the cup and you get a hot chocolate I recommend buying those as a stocking filler I feel like any chocolate lover would love these number 18 is Nanda's wagon wheels literally wagon wheels but made for vegans I love that combination of like chocolate biscuits and marshmallow and jam it's just incredible number 19 is cake or death this is something I've seen Yasmin post about a lot they basically do vegan brownies through your letterbox these are made in East London but the flavors of brownies you can get include a Christmas selection biscoff hazelnut sea salt peanut butter and also as a really special treat you can buy someone a three-month prepaid subscription it's a gift that keeps on giving I don't know I'd be buzzed about that so I'm just putting that out there number 20 we have a Luna rum this is an alcoholic and Entry. This is just like the nicest coconut rum ever. It's also great for making like coladas in the summertime But yeah in the winter it's really lovely for hot chocolates and the bottle is so gorgeous that If you really love the taste of coconut in your alcohol, but you don't like 
extra sweetness, then check this one out. Number 21 is Mabel's Yorkshire Puddings. These are always sold out every time I go and have a look. They do gluten-free options as well. But yeah, vegan Yorkshire Puddings. There's not much more I can say about these. If I had these on Christmas Day, it would be the best Christmas ever. I'm telling you, if this Veganuary, we don't get like a vegan tone in the hole. I Number 22, the last one in the food entry is Rubies in the Rubble. Rubies in the Rubble believe that food should be valued as a precious resource and they pack their produce with delicious ingredients that would otherwise go to waste. Not because they taste any different, but because they're the wrong like shape, size, colour. So instead of letting foods go to waste, they make condiments out of them. They are a vegan business and they do have a few gift options as well. That includes a um, relish gift set. You can also get the taster pack, which is their ketchup, their chilli onion relish and their chilli mayo. And the mayo is vegan. And then also when I was looking on their site, I noticed they had banana ketchup. That is definitely not something I want to find under the Christmas tree, but if you know someone who's like bananas about bananas or bananas about ketchup, I don't know. I'm trying to think of who would love this, but I feel like there is someone out there who would love banana ketchup. And let me know if you've tried it before or if you would try it. Personally, it sounds like the worst thing in the world, but I want to hear a review. Now moving on to art and decor. I want to start off with Spilt Milk Press. This is a Nottingham based company and I discovered them through Yasmin as well. I think I've already mentioned her this video. Basically, they they do really pretty prints on kind of like pop culture and movies as well. So for example, you can find prints dedicated to Taylor Swift's Folklore album, also Harry Styles. I feel like we're all a fan of him. I've got a print around I May Destroy You, Call Me By Your Name, Romeo and Juliet, the one blue. I just think their prints are gorgeous and if you know someone who really likes that aesthetic, they would love one of these prints. Number 24 is Lizzie Hall. We discovered her in a local market at Brick Lane. She had these really cool cat prints. And me and Shada, my housemate, are cat people. And we have been looking for some prints to go in the front room and we just bought these two cat prints. They look really cute. We really love them. They're like mystical kitties. She's also got a lot of Christmas stuff going as well. Yeah, she's got festive sacks, table runners, aprons. Do check her out. Number 25 is Monchi Cards. These are some really stunning prints by a London born and raised artist that uses vintage pop art and comic book styles to create prints which are just such moods. They're often kind of like themed around a girl in her bedroom and give off a different vibe basically. She's also got an incredible zodiac series for anyone who loves the stars and also a 2021 calendar so you get like a different mood a different girl every month number 26 is glaze me pretty this is something i saw in a recent cruelty free becky video it's a business run from southwest london by a self-taught ceramicist and she makes pottery from her garden studio with beautiful glazes. Products include Christmas ornaments, oil burners, tea lights, vases, jugs, planters, trinket dishes, just a whole host of really beautiful products. So number 27, we have Arena Flowers. This is the UK's number one ethical florist and I discovered them through Ray Likes Fruit. This is a great option if you are looking to buy anyone flowers Christmas, maybe even a wreath. These guys have an incredibly huge selection of fair trade flowers, so do look out for that. They have also removed single use plastics from their products and are eradicated them throughout their supply chain because they are very focused on sustainability. With every order they also plant a tree. Number 29 we have Alba Paris. This is a very like vegan artwork brand. They do prints which are really gorgeous. They also do pins, badges, stickers, buttons. I used to have a little pin of theirs which had a cow with a flower crown but I lost it sadly. But they do currently have one which is a pig with a flower crown. Do check those out. They are really really adorable. Number 29 we have LDM Design. So this is an eco-conscious printmaker. I have one up here. This is my one. She has other designs. There are some with like turtles in it, some with cats in it, but all kind of like monochrome, minimal and really beautiful. Number 30 we have Walking Wild Co. This one was recommended to me by Kentish Vegan. They do homemade crafts. They do mugs, vases, pet bowls, wall hangings, earrings. I actually bought one of their wall hangings recently. We have it hanging in our bathroom and it's just this beautiful moon with a trio of amethyst hanging down from it and it's just such a vibe. Sadly, I no longer have a cat, but if I did, you can bet I'd be buying the pet bowls because they are gorgeous, they are personalised. And number 31, we have Kelly Crane. They do plant hangers, Christmas decorations, coasters, wall hangings, earrings. It is all in the Kelly Crane woven style. This is my one. They do DIY kits as well. This wasn't a DIY. And they also do earrings too. I also have a plant hanger in the corner but instead of hanging up a plant pot it's hanging up my makeup brushes. Really works for me to be honest. Now I'm going to move on to candles. There are so many wonderful vegan candle companies and I have really struggled narrowing this down but I'm only going to share three of you. Number one is Vegan Bunny. If you guys watched my recent video about how to like cope with 2020 you guys will know that I'm a big fan of Vegan Bunny. Their candles are incredible. They are a vegan brand with really good vegan ethics around sustainability as well and they have so 
so many scents so many gorgeous scents if you are looking for something very christmas themed they have a frosted holly scent which is basil and eucalyptus and they also have a jolly season candle which is bazoan and spearmint number 33 we have self made candle co they are a london based black owned business their candles are super gorgeous they also care a lot about sustainability and the candle labels are actually made of seed paper so once you're done with your candle you can peel off the label and plant the label in the old candle pot and watch it grow i was really excited to see that they launched a few new scents for christmas they have a naughty and nice candle which is mulled wine scented they have an airy candle which is pine scented and then they've got a fire candle which smells like a luxurious cocktail party they also do candle kits as well so if you know anyone who would be interested in learning how to make their own candles check them out number 34 kaya candle this is another one i saw through cruelty free becky and it's one of those candle companies that are very inspired by bus so yeah they produce only the finest handmade candles and the wax and wicks are 100% natural and vegan friendly. Personally, Drusus is my favorite. If I had the money to spare, I'd be getting him for our flat. However, he is quite expensive, but he looks worth it. They also have two different female designs. You've got Aphrodite and Hera. They come in different scents and different shades. I just think they look so indulgent, so beautiful. I think we all know someone who would love a candle like this, and I just love that they are vegan as well. Quickly, I'm gonna run through some cookbooks as well. These aren't necessarily small businesses as such, but these are books created by influencers that I follow and adore and love supporting so I'm just going to go through these real quick. Number 35 we have Rachel Armour. This is actually my housemate's cookbook. Everything she's cooked out of here has been incredible. I would definitely recommend this as a gift particularly if there's anyone in your life who thinks that plant-based foods is boring this book will show them that it's not. Number 36 we are looking at One Pot Vegan. This is my cookbook and this one is definitely best suited to people who want to eat healthier but are lazy. That's what I love about this. It's 80 delicious quick and easy recipes which use only only one dish. It's by Roxy Pope and Ben Pook. They are just the loveliest couple and they make the best food. Yeah, I recommend it. Number 37, this book actually came out at the very start of the year in January. It is Minimal by Madeline Olivia. It's about how to simplify your life and live sustainably. Maddie is so good at minimalism and making sure it's achievable and a lot more based on bringing value into your life rather than just being an aesthetic. I find this book really helpful in taking a very grounded approach on how to make sure the things in your life bring you joy. Now we're on to fashion. So number 38, I want to recommend plant-based clothing. Their clothes are kind of like plant-based streetwear. They describe themselves as streetwear about this sweatshop. They are 100% vegan, ethical, eco-friendly, cruelty-free streetwear brands. I just find that the fit of their clothes is quite different to what I normally see of brands doing vegan clothing and it's worth checking out because of that. And the designs are also really quite cool. Number 39, I want to recommend Sanchos. So this is actually a shop in Exeter. They also have an online store. It is another black-owned business. They aren't fully vegan, but they are very interested in sustainability what they do promise is that everything they stock is made ethically by fairly treated garment workers and they only source organic and sustainable products. As a whole, their ethics are pretty up there. They don't only sell fashion, but they also have jewellery, home accessories and a menswear section. At number 40, we are going into loungewear with Nyla Ray. This is something that I saw from my friend Despina. She did a TikTok unboxing a loungewear set from them. And unfortunately, it has been sold out every time I've gone to have a look, but they do have other designs. I definitely think they are brand to watch and that is also a black owned business as well. Number 41 we have Corey Curls. These guys do vegan faux silk scrunchies, they have classic scrunchies, they've got skinny scrunchies and they've got bow scrunchies as well. I'm looking to get some skinny ones for Christmas maybe. They also do satin headbands and also satin pillowcases. A big appeal of satin pillowcases is that it's kinder on the hair and also on the face as well. One of those things that helps you with your beauty sleep. 42 is Flux Undies. Now this might be a weird gift to ask for or give so I definitely think this one requires as a chat before you put it under the Christmas tree that flux undies are menstrual underwear, period underwear. And I know that is a weird thing to ask for, but again, it's one of those sustainable items which cost quite a lot up front, even though it will save you money in the long run. However, I'm just a huge fan of these. I got my first pair earlier this year in my Hunt and Barrett haul. I tried them out for you guys and I absolutely fell in love with them. If you feel comfortable doing it, ask for it for Christmas or maybe talk to a friend about getting them some for Christmas too. Number 43, we have Charlotte Dunn. Charlotte does the most bougie pyjamas ever. They are sustainably made, ethically made, like fair wages, vegan, sustainable materials. The embroidery is beautiful as well. I have the character pajama shorts, which is stunning. It's kind of like the nude profile of a woman, but you don't really notice that until you really look at it. She has so many other designs. She's got like a cowboy design, which has like cactuses on it. There's like another plant design. There's an orca blue design. She's just got some really gorgeous pajamas, but they are quite expensive, but it's really good value. I feel like this is the best year to really go all out on your pajamas. Number 44, we have Carewares. This is another vegan business that does kind of like hoodies 
hoodies, t-shirts, totes, all around like veganism. This one is definitely very cute, very girly. They are probably best known for their vegan babe design, but I really love their cruelty free bunny design and I've got that on my Christmas list. So now moving on to jewelry. 45, we have Marcia Vidal jewelry. This is homemade jewelry, which is made in a workshop in Hackney. 5% of all profits go to the charity Help Refugees. They do some really gorgeous like gold jewelry, silver jewelry, necklaces, earrings. Yeah, their jewelry is gorgeous. Number 46, we have Fuck the Tories jewelry. This is getting a little bit political. This was also recommended to me by Kentish Vegan and they just have the coolest necklaces with slogans like fuck the Tories, fuck the patriarchy and eat the rich. They just look really cool. They're very Instagramable and 10% of the profits go to Trussell Trust supporting a nationwide network of food banks. And now we are on to lifestyle. So number 47 is the Punky Bunny. These guys also do very like vegan themed stuff. So they do like key rings, mugs, phone cases, cards and really cool prints as well. But if you are into like your sassy vegan slogans, I don't think you can do much better than the prints these guys do. They have a huge collection so I do recommend checking them out. Number 48 is all about reusables and this is Tabitha Eve. Their goal is to provide eco-friendly alternatives to single juice household items or everyday products that might otherwise be made of plastic and their ultimate goal is to make it the norm for everyone to buy reusable. If you know anyone who's really looking to get into like reducing their waste, they do gift sets which are starter kits. They also have sections around like babies, around the kitchen, around bathroom. They also have an imperfect section. So that is basically if there are any products that are made which are just a little bit imperfect and not really something they feel they can sell full price, you can go onto the imperfect section and buy something with a few flaws at a discounted price. That is just true sustainable ethics at play there. So I really love this company. 49, we have Eat The Moon store. I found these guys on Etsy. They do hilarious cards. They have the funniest Christmas cards. I really recommend checking them out. They also have really gorgeous journals and notepads, which I definitely think are worth checking out. If you know anyone who started journaling or likes to make to-do lists or whatever, just those are quite gorgeous too. Number 50, the final business to support this Christmas is Bright. Bright have an incredible online store now. The categories they stock there include art, accessories, books, bathroom, clothing, living, homeware, skincare, etc. Everything that they sell is vegan, but like their ethics definitely root a lot deeper than that and they are very community focused, very small business focused. They are also well known for their vegan queen hoodies and jumpers, which you also may have seen me wearing before. I just love Bright. They're super ethical of everything they do and I'm always more than happy to support them. Okay, so that is us done. I hope you have enjoyed this video and hopefully feel a lot more comfortable and excited to be ditching Amazon this Christmas and shopping small, supporting small and local. Please do feel free to use Use the comment space down below to let me know if you've ever bought from any of the businesses I've mentioned and leave a little review or whether or not you are buying from them this Christmas or leave any recommendations to any other small businesses that I haven't mentioned down below as well because I just think we can share love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget you can find me online on TikTok, Instagram. I've got a blog. Find me anywhere. Being Beauty Girl. Until next time. Bye.